Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa. Chris Forsberg's Nissan Z got a bit of an update. I got the email saying that it was updated from Chris Forsberg's shop. So we're going to go full send and see how it rips. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll find the description box below. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh yeah. Let's go. So we are at one of my favorite places to test. The Daytona track but this is the new ESDA 2023 version so it's a little different there's not a wall when you first enter in so that's kind of a, a nice thing so we're gonna go full send see how Chris Forsberg's car reacts and uh, we might hit up Jersey since well Jersey's this weekend Let's go full send fifth year hit looks like Little grass drop. Oh, almost over rotated the wall. I tried to hang that on way too much. Overall, not too bad of a run. Definitely uh, very different on this course. Oof. We're gonna go uh, full send and cockpit. And we'll take a look at the replay of it. So it's definitely totally different with that wall being on that section compared to the entry, which I'm used to. Grass drop there, too. Oh, that's a wall. Oh, man. That's a bit of a hard hit. <laughs> We were kind of really close to that wall. Uh, this car is definitely uh, feels way better than the first version that I've driven. Not the entry I was looking for, but see if we can't manage the rest of the course. Oh, we pulled that into the grass there. I don't know how we drive this car. This view is not the greatest. Being able to see out of this car is definitely not the best. So we'll take a look at that third run. Boy, this was a this was a wall hit. Oh no, that wasn't the wall hit. What was that? That might have been our first run. That was our first run. This is the wall hit run. Oh yeah. That was a hard hit. So overall this car feels quite nice. It's very, very throttle dependent. Loves full throttle. And it definitely uh, sounds and drives pretty well. I'll leave the link for it down in the description box below. You guys can pick it up too bad that was a pretty bad transition right there so so we're gonna do one more run do one more full run here that was a better entry Grass drop. Oh, wall tap. No, in the tires. That would have totally sucked in an actual thing. Let's change up track and uh, see what we can do. So we're here on at English Town. We're going to go full send. This track is definitely a very interesting track to say the least. It's uh, a quite fun track, but uh, very difficult to get right as well. So we're going to go full send with Forsberg Z and see what we can do. Let's be a fourth gear crack. That 
transition was way snappier than I expected. And we're in the dirt! I don't have enough grip! I need a little bit more grip, I feel. Or we're just in a weird perspective, so... I'm gonna leave the link for this Forsberg car if you guys want to pick it up yourself and give it a shot. Early entry. Maybe we touched the grass there. We definitely uh, had a much better run there. So let's take a look at that last run. Kind of a lax entry though. Overall, the entry was pretty bad, but the overall of the rest of the runs was quite nice. I think we were pretty close to that. Yeah, we were pretty far in there. Towards the end, we kind of came out a little bit. But impressions of this car, this car is definitely super nice. And it's, the update on it was very well done. So big kudos to all of them. Make this car good as it is. I mean, a little wall tap on entry never hurt, right? Oop. A little bumper tap. Nothing but a thing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode update on Chris Forsberg's Z. This car is definitely a very solid car. So, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll try the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. More gaming and a set of course of content coming up here soon, especially with the hype of Forza coming out as well later in the year. So, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll see you guys on the track.